Good afternoon, it's Thursday, October 20th, 2011. I'm Jamie Chadwick with your Burner Berry Market Report, sponsored today by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. First up today is a brief look at NAMP's new beef rib poster with Terrence Wells and Russ Barton. Hi, I'm Terrence Wells here with Russell Barton, one of Werner Berry's market reporters, checking out the NAMP poster series, the Beef Rib Poster. Russell, why don't you bring us through the poster a little bit, you know, let the uh, audience know what, what they're going to okay. get. Thank you, Terrence. Um, well, within the poster series, there's an entire beef poster, and then you have a poster for the chuck, poster for the rib, posters for the loin and sirloin, and a poster for the round. Okay, so in addition to the beef poster, you have the pork, the lamb, and the veal, correct? Yes. All right, so why don't you, you know, what's, what do we get up here in the upper right corner of the poster? Okay, well, this gives you a description of the marbling uh, that, that you would see in the beef. In the top right corner of this poster, uh, you see how NAMP covers the U.S. and Canada grading for marbling, starting with uh, the highest fat content all the way to the leanest oh, okay. item there. Uh, to the right of that is your nutrition facts for the beef. Now moving down here, you can see we start out with a 109A. Uh, you can see that it's, it is netted here. Then this is an image of the export style for the 109. From here you move out to your various uh, beef rib, your rib steaks, bone in. Here's your cowboy style steaks and your French uh, rib steaks. Very nice. Yeah. Nice pictures. Yeah, you can see the marbling in this is gorgeous here. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and briefly, up in this corner, you have your processing view of the 109. All right. And uh, where can we get these posters? You can get them on shop.namp.com. Along with all the other uh, posters in the series? Absolutely. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Russell. Get your NAMP poster at shop.namp.com. Thanks, guys. Now let's check out the markets. For this week's eggs processed under federal inspection report, once again, here's Terrence Wells. Eggs processed under federal inspection totaled 1,345,862 cases for the week ending October 15th. The number of cases broken is down 4% from last week's figure and also down 1% from the same week last year. The cumulative total year to date is now down 1%. 747,430 cases were broken in line this week, representing 55.5% of the total break. The shell egg market has begun to show some signs of strength as the anticipation for the holiday season continues to grow. Some inline producers have begun to switch production from breaking to grading in order to build inventory as demand increases. I'm Terrence Wells with your eggs processed under federal inspection report. Now back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Terrence. Talking turkey, the industry continues to make its way towards the holiday months in excellent overall shape. Demand for whole birds is mixed, and offerings range non-existent to about adequate. Ask prices trend higher for spot deliveries and for those a few weeks out front. Fresh turkey prices on the spot are starting to advance with the coming of November. All parts are in good to excellent shape. Trading is very light due to lack of supplies. Our quotations are teetering on moving higher pending additional developments. Breast meats look to be in a very close balance overall. Our quotations are fully supported. The call for thigh meat finds virtually no offerings despite express willingness to pay up money if that will uncover additional supplies. Now here's Russ Barton with an inside look at Erner Berry's poultry report. Business in the chicken market is meandering along at a pace that is typical for this time of year. With that being said, most listed lines are in generally stable position. The latest broiler hatch report reveals a 7% and 8% decline respectively in eggs set and chicks placed. Our chart focuses on the USDA's recent release of its export figures for August, which show 2011 broiler meat shipments being 7% above those of the same time frame from the year prior. This overall advance in exports has certainly influenced Erner Barry's dark meat quotations in a positive manner. During the time of the year when items such as legs, legs quarters, and drumsticks are typically retreating in value, this year they've been generally stable. If exports remain elevated at the current level of production, cup packs persist, dark meats certainly have a fighting chance to make it through the winter relatively unscathed. I'm Russ Barton with this week's Poultry Report. Back to you, Jamie. Thanks, Russ. Moving over to red meats in the box beef market, inventory positions continue to dictate price changes. A smattering of both price advances and discounts are noted in our early canvas. Light ribs remain very scarce, and asking prices edged higher overnight. Select strips and short loins are seen at steady to discounted levels. A few end cuts also received some reductions for quick ship, as did some thin meats. 
In the boneless beef market, fresh 50s are quietly rated steady to firmer this morning. Asking prices continue to trend higher. Fresh 90s continue to trend higher, which several sources have attributed to the limited availability of imported product. The imported market levels are steady this morning amid strong trading values for fresh. Asking prices are generally higher from our current listings. In the pork market, direct markets are anticipated mostly steady today as processors continue to purchase select amounts of hogs to fill Saturday and early next week's schedules. Trade at the terminal markets are expected steady. Processing pork items are anticipated mostly steady to slightly firmer today due to tightening availability. Hams and trimmings are in good demand and supplies are thin to very thin depending on item. Bellies have shown little to no printed interest thus far and are called steady. Availability of both loins and butts varies by seller, but collectively are still generally considered well sold. Spare ribs continue to find support from robust frozen orders. That wraps up Erner Berry's market report, brought to you today by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at ePoultry.com.